Docker is a tool that lets you package your application and everything it needs to run into a single unit called a container. And that container will run exactly the same way on your laptop, on a server in the cloud, or on your coworker's ancient Linux machine. And if you've ever spent three hours debugging why your code works on your machine but crashes in production, you already understand why Docker is worth learning. Here's the problem Docker solves, and this is critical to understand. When you build an application, it doesn't just need your code, it needs specific versions of libraries, specific system dependencies, specific environment variables, and a whole ecosystem of stuff that has to be configured exactly right. In the old days, you'd deploy your application to a server and spend days installing dependencies, configuring the environment, and praying nothing breaks. Then, someone invented virtual machines, which let you package an entire operating system with your application, but VMs are stupidly heavy because you're literally running a complete OS inside another OS, which wastes gigabytes of RAM and takes minutes to boot up, and honestly feels like using a sledgehammer to hang a picture frame. Docker containers are different, and this is where things get brilliant. Instead of packaging an entire operating system with your application, Docker containers share the host machine's operating system kernel, but keep everything else isolated. Your application runs in its own little sandbox with its own file system, its own network configuration, its own process space, but it's using the same underlying OS kernel as the host machine. This means containers are incredibly lightweight. We're talking megabytes instead of gigabytes, and they start up in seconds instead of minutes because you're not booting an entire operating system, you're just starting a process. Let me break down the core concepts you actually need to know. A Docker image is basically a blueprint or template for your container. It contains your application code, all the dependencies, the libraries, the system tools, everything packaged together in layers. You build an image once using a Docker file, which is just a text file with instructions like start from this base image, copy my code into the container, install these dependencies, run this command when the container starts. That's it. Five instructions and you've containerized your application. No complicated setup, no server configuration, just a simple text file that anyone on your team can read and understand. Now here's where Docker becomes incredibly powerful for development and deployment. When you run Docker build, it creates your image layer by layer, and Docker's smart about caching these layers. If you rebuild your image and only your application code changed, Docker reuses all the cache layers for dependencies and system packages, making rebuilds insanely fast. When you run Docker Run, it spins up a container from your image and your application starts running in isolation. You can have 10 containers running the same image on the same machine and they won't interfere with each other because they're all isolated. You can map ports from the container to your host machine so you can access your web app. You can mount volumes to persist data and you can connect containers together to build complex applications. The real game changer is Docker Compose, which lets you define and run multi-container applications using a simple YAML file. Most real applications aren't just one service, they're a web server, plus a database, plus a cache, plus maybe a message queue. Docker Compose lets you define all of these services in one file, specify how they connect to each other, and start the entire stack with one command, docker compose up. Your database runs in one container, your web app in another, your Redis cache in another, and they can all talk to each other through Docker's networking. When you're done, you run docker compose down, and everything stops and cleans up. No leftover processes, no configuration files scattered across your system, just clean, isolated environments. 